options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live Tuesday, Halloween, October 31st. Hope all is well. So zero DTE land. What did I do today? I took a Rick this morning. And Rick is trying to push to its profit target. My uh, profit target is currently set at 1885 and it's currently at about 16 plus. So I need another little push higher for that one to hit. I also did a quiet lunch, hit my first profit target on that one and then got stopped out for a profit on the second portion. Then I took a PM iron condor just before I jumped on here, closed out half of that, letting the other half ride. We are, uh, current move is 0.42%. It feels like a short squeeze day, but not quite there. So I'll be going one to one. So I'm going to buy some longs for tranche one. Yep, looking like our old buddy, the straddles back in town. Even with VIX at 18. Big contraction today, VIX down over eight and a half percent. Look at the short term IV rank indicator. Just on 1020, so 11 days ago, it was pushing 100 IV percentile. Now it's pushing zero on the. Uh, so that's the, basically the price of the options compared to the, where they were just a short time ago. So it looks like the 4190s as of now. Give it another minute. Uh Elliot, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my VXX. I already took half off at 50%. So I'm gonna let this last last half ride through FOMC. Most likely scenario would be we get a Another big vol contraction after FOMC. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on. All right, 4190s. Here we come. Tranche one straddle. Trying to get filled at eight even. Filled at seven ninety. 
4190s. So let's see what else we got going on. I've got a my SPX put calendar that I added a vertical to. It's kind of coming back into range of the calendar. I'm just going to hold that for now. Also got a TGIF. It's hanging out a little bit above the call strike. Added a 1-2 and a 1-3 today. Those are both down a bit. I've got a 6-7 that's also down. One, two, and the one, three will come off tomorrow morning. I was hoping I'd be able to take some of those off before the end of the day, but it doesn't look like it. The VXX, VXX is down over five and a half percent. Currently at about 40 ish, 40 plus percent of max profit on those remaining 10. Oil's getting a little contraction. ES and GC hedgehogs are doing good. Oh, we're over 30% now on this MES. How long have I had that on? That one's come in since I looked at it earlier today. Yeah, we've only had that on since the 25th. So I'll probably book that one. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put my order in at 31.75. See if we get filled here shortly. Yep, Microsoft and AMD report after the bell. ZN's getting close to 30% quickly as well. Oh, it's there. Wow, these have come in in the last couple hours real nicely. How long have I had that Z in on? I guess more than two weeks. A little over two weeks. Let me take that off too, though. Put my order at 20, 20 on ZN. QQQ. I need to, I need 528 or less for that one to hit profit target. Wow. That one came in too. All right, I guess I'm going to shed some short premium here, boys and girls. I just looked at these a couple hours ago. They weren't they weren't that close. Added a uh, added a diagonal to our time fly. So I'll let those orders sit for a bit. And I just realized I haven't reduced my stop on my PM. Speed reduced from 12 to 8. SPX pushing new highs of day.
Uh, Elliot, on the put cal on the single, I usually go with um, 10 to 20% profit. And then if it pushes to one of the break, you know, one of the break evens on either side, I make the adjustment. I got filled in my QQQ. That posted right quick. Uh, PT stop reduction for power hour is based on the current price. That's how the back test does it, and that's how I do it. And now we are in short squeeze territory. But already got Trunch one on. I've been buying some futures all day, so those are doing good. In fact, I'm going to shed some of those. I was just doing micros today, MES. Using a NTT. Just straight buying buying the futures. Sometimes I just feel like doing a little futures directional day trading. Pushing right up against the upper expected move for the day. So PT, I got into tranche one at 790. So 60% of that would be 475. So if tranche one gets down to 475, then I will reduce my stop to 775. I think Rick should be hitting pretty soon here. The target's at 1885. It's currently trading at 1830. So another little push up will hit it. Launch one trading up to 860. Stops at 
We've got nine minutes until tranche number two. What else is going on? Did you guys do good today in the morning, afternoon trades? Nice. When are you going to make the full switch? Gotcha. Uh, Quanteo, today I ran some back tests on the AM Iron Condor Monday 3-2. The results very interesting. If you enter between 932 and 934, and it's got its best results every minute later. Counts of winners shrink. Is this also your experience? Yeah, for sure. Because what happens is on Mondays, you know, over the weekend, they they pump up volatility into those Monday options. And so Monday is typically the most profitable, most consistent day of selling those AM iron condors. And so the earlier you get in, the better. All right, getting a little pullback here. That's right. Money day, money day, Monday. So you'll notice in my trade plan that I, I, if you, if you've seen my November trade plan, you'll see, I increased my size for Mondays on those AM. I've got a coaching lesson after the bell today with Mr. Jared Tindler author of The Mental Game of Trading. Yeah, the PM Iron Condors, Kelvin, have been just okay. Yep, first one. So I'm going to... um. I signed up for a uh, three three session package to start, and I'm gonna. He agreed we could. I'm gonna. We're gonna record them all and share them with you, so you'll get to see everything. And that, he because <laughs> you know most of his most of his students. If you want to call him that, most of his students are, you know, very want to keep everything very confidential, you know, all that kind of stuff. So <laughs> when I pro when I propose to him, hey, I want to, I want to, I want to do this, and I want to, I want to just be able to share it with my community, you know, everything we talk about. And he kind of paused and he was like, "You want to share everything?" And I said, "Yep." I said, "Account numbers." not count numbers, but account sizes, everything. He's like, he's like, okay. I, 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 and I said, I do not, I don't, I don't want you to treat me any different. I, I want you to treat me just like a normal student. I said, if you make me cry on camera, so be it. Everyone's going to get to see full frontal. That's right. All right, a few minutes till tranche two. I'm excited. I, I'm hoping, you know, he uncovers stuff that I'm just not even aware of. You know, you, it's easy to see what other people are doing wrong or, you know, things that they could do better. 
but it's hard to it's hard to see those things about yourself. So I'm I'm hoping it uh, uncovers some things that I'm not really aware of about myself. It's called the Mental Game of Trading, Jared Tendler. All right, going to buy some longs for tranche two. Yep, looking like the 95 straddle for tranche two. Uh, personally, Mark Douglas is still my favorite as far as the trading in the zone, but um, his book's really good. There, I know of multiple people have said they they put it up there with trading in the zone. It's definitely on the. It's definitely up there. You know what? I didn't ask him about that. I don't. I don't. I don't know if he actually trades much himself. I would. I would assume he doesn't. I think he's pretty busy actively doing his coaching. But he 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 coaches poker players and golfers too. Trunch to straddle ninety fives. Trying to get filled at six twenty five. Filled at six twenty five on the forty one ninety fives. Uh, he's a cooking coach, Chris. He's going to teach me how to cook. <laughs> yeah, he's a mental, mental coach. Let's see, some of my other orders on these strangles have not hit yet. ZN, there we go. Let's 
N Z N. Go ahead and get this filled before tranche three. Now I need to reload. Now we need a ball spike. For a lot of different things. All right, all of those have been posted in the premium selling channel. Crunch two strikes was the forty one ninety five straddle. Uh, risk graph isn't off. I would assume Kelvin. It's just when you get two straddles, it's almost like it's almost like being inverted. Tranche two, I got filled at 625. 375 is what I'm looking for to reduce my stop. Remember, we're, we're back in straddle land, so it's going to take quite a while before we get to reduce our stops. Tranche two is trading at five fifty. <clears throat> Tranche one is trading at six eighty five. Someone's got a hot mic. I'll take care of that. There we go. Five minutes until tranche three. Rick is getting close. It's touching the order.
and it pulled back. So now it's not. I got to I get out of one of my five. My PM iron condor is trading at 11. My profit targets at 475 on that one to hit 80%. Find some longs for tranche three. Tomorrow, your daylight savings is only for a week. And then the time changes back. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I've traded on the West Coast. I do kind of like it. You got to get up early, but then you're done by one o'clock. So as of right now, it looks like we might get a five wide for tranche three. Getting a little pullback. It's like the ninety five nineties. Tranch three, five wide. Trying to get 370. No takers. Ooh, it ran away. Wow. You guys are taking my orders, aren't you? So that 345, 95 and 90s. Is it 395 and it dropped to 340 like within three seconds? My peeps are front running me. All right, so tranche one is down to 550. I need 475. 
Toronto twos at 620. I need 375 to reduce my stops. Rick was so close to hitting. Didn't quite get there for the little pullback. Or is it 1885? It's currently trading at 1835, 1850-ish. Eighteen sixty, just another little push for Rick. This doesn't quite want to hit it yet. Yet. Yeah, I'm going to let my one twos and three one threes ride. I was, you know, sometimes before a big event like FOMC, sometimes you'll be able to get a quick 10% same day, but not happening. So I'm just going to let them go. Just waiting, Rick. I've already got my meme picked out. I'm just waiting for you to fill. Just need 18.85, 30 cents away. Uh, my TGIF is a little above the call strike currently. It's up a little bit. Uh, La Souza, if you let SPX options expire, you'll know the settlement price within a couple minutes after the market closes, but they don't technically settle until overnight. No, Rick's not ready. He's just not ready. You can't you can't force Rick. You gotta let you gotta let Rick do his thing. Rick doesn't answer to anybody. All right, 
right, tranche one trading at 5.30, getting close. Tranche two at Anywhere between 90 and 95 is good for power hour. Uh, ninety percent is not really a profit target for me. It's more just I put, I put a in my OCO order. I put in a with my stop. I put in a limit order so that as it gets down to the end of the day, if I want to close it out before the bell, I can just easily adjust it. But yeah, my OCO orders go in at ninety percent. All right, getting a little pull back off the top. Reached a high today of 4195.25. I think you are all aware by now, but tomorrow is a big day. Pre-market ADP non-farm employment, 30 minutes after the market opens, ISM manufacturing and jolts. 1 p.m. Central is the FOMC fund rate data release, and then 30 minutes later is the FOMC press conference. Uh, as far as the live stream goes, so Chad will be streaming in the morning for the Mighty 90 Runner Strategies. We will not be streaming for Power Hour, but we will be streaming at 1245 Central for the FOMC.
These are the two FOMC trades I will be doing. So the FOMC Iron Condor, put that on just before the data is released. Look to get a little bit of a volatility crash without too much price movement and then close it 30 minutes later before the press conference. And then as soon as the press conference starts, put on a long strangle or you could do like a Rick. I like the uh, 30 Delta long strangle. And then uh, let Jerome say something stupid and watch it move. Tranche one still at 530. Tranche two at 680. Yeah, I can do that trading naked. <laughs> yeah, I should call that the Jerome stupid lips trade. All right, getting a little pullback here. Where are we at on Rick? He's still a nice profit, but need to hold up above 4190. Above 4190 is good for power hour as well. No, definitely wouldn't be doing an AM iron condor. Problem is you'll put it on in the morning and usually you get zero decay until the data is released. So you're taking the risk without any of the reward. If you've never traded zero DTE on the morning of FOMC, just put one on with a, you know, a theoretical position and watch it. Typically you get very little decay. Our one, two, and our one, three just turned green, barely, with this little down move. Yeah, trunch two is getting a little, a little close to the stop. It's currently trading at eight bucks. My stop's at nine twenty-five. Need a little bounce here. Need a little bounce here. Launch two, still hanging on by a thread, but I'm going to need a bounce. Much more downward, much more downside, and I'll get stopped. A little bounce. There you go, little buddy. You got it. 
Show me some green. Show me a little green. Ooh, that's close. Escaped for now. Let's get back above 4190. Tranche one down to 510. I'm looking for 475 and tranche one to reduce my stop. There you go. There's 4190. Feels so much better up here. Four eighty. Four eighty-five. Four eighty. Getting close. There's 475. All right, reducing my stop on tranche one. Rick is trading back down to below 17. Everybody needs a little bounce here. My PM iron condor will hit 80%. If it gets to 475, it's trading at 685. It actually likes it down here. Tranche two, look at that, back down to 580. Still need 375 before I reduce my stop on that one. Escaped that little stop out by the skin of my teeth. Hey, Bumblebee, it's uh, everybody does it a little bit differently, but if you check the trade plans and then uh, you'll see the uh, option Omega back test link. And so I, I traded exactly like the back test. So it's not a percentage, it's a fixed amount. First three indications for the market on close and balance, 629 million sell side. The final one will come out in five minutes. You are welcome. And it's coming back down. Let's stay back up there. Stay back above 
13 minutes to go. There's 4190 again. Tranche two down to five and a half. Tranche one's at 440. Tranche three's at 245. Rick is back above 18, looking for 1885. Uh, Dark Avenger doesn't have to be your last question, my friend. That's what we're here for. Uh, my plan is to my my plan is to uh close the six seven on Wednesday a.m. anyway. So I will be closing it tomorrow morning. Rick, here goes Rick. Now I got to find my meme again. Where's the one I wanted to go with? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Gotta love Rick. Tranche two down to 430. I'm looking for 375 to reduce my stop. Back up to 4192 with a bounce. Need about 50 more cents or so to come out of tranche two to reduce stop. We got nine minutes to go. Final market on close and balance, 821 million buy side. So it flipped. So that may have had something to do with the little bounce. Crunch two is the 95, so it's down to 390. Oh, it's getting there. Three ninety. 
I need 375. I will not be taking my straddles to the bell. I will be closing them out. Mirage, you got filled on some contracts at 375 for tranche two. Is that a is there a question in there? Oh, I see. You're saying it, it did get down to 375. Well, oh, got out of my uh, hit 80 percent on my PM Iron Condor. I got you, Mirage. I did not see it. So my rule is if I don't see it, I don't reduce. Was that on the 4195 straddle? Okay. I'm not saying I don't believe you because it was getting close. But I'm going to hold for now. We're at six minutes till the bell. We're right at around 4190. I'm going to set tranche one to close at 280. There it is. I saw it that time. Reducing my stop on tranche number two. Tranche number three is 90.95. So tranche three... Could take that one to the bell. It's trying to get to 95s. It's trying to get to my tr tranche two strike. Tranche two, I'm going to set it to. Wow. About Tranche one, what do I want to do with tranche one? I got hit hit 210 on 15 of my 16. Tranche one's all the way up to six bucks now. Now I need a little pullback. All right, out of tranche two at 210. We're trying to get to new highs of day here, friends. Got 
but Toronto one at five bucks. I was so close to getting filled it to something. Tranche three is trading at a buck thirty. All right, filled at five bucks on tranche one. So I got in at seven ninety out at five, so still made a few bucks. So I've got tranche three left. Two minutes to go. My order's at 30 cents. Don't need another push higher. That's what I don't need. I need to stay under 95. One minute to go. Just poked its head above 95. Now it's kind of settling. We stay under nine. Oh, back above ninety five. Back below ninety five. There we go. Settle in there. Just settle right in. There we go. Three, two, one, pin. All right, so $4,800 winner on tranche three. Tranche one was about a $3,000 winner. Tranche two, what did tranche two end up being? Got in at 625, out at 210. So what's that about? 16, a little over 6,500 on tranche two. So nice. And you guys were scared of the straddle. Shame on you. <laughs> nice. All three winners. Two straddles. One five wide. Doesn't matter. Power hour strikes again. All right, my friends. So uh, chat will be streaming in the morning. And then um, we'll, be, we'll be streaming for only stream for zero DTE is the FOMC stream at 1245 Central. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night. Chat with you soon.